my name is Shy, and today I'm finally reacting to Super Junior again. Last time I reacted to them, I think I was back in America three years ago. Um, so I'm currently in Korea, so life has changed so much since I last, um, last reacted to Super Junior. I know they had a song out last year um, called Super Clap, I'll definitely get to that when I can, but today I'm checking out their latest release, which was released on my birthday, um, called House Party. Um, I'm very excited. From what I could tell, like, the lyrics talk about, like, obviously today's, like, pandemic, like, the mask up and everything, so I'm very excited to see how that goes. It's been a while since, um, super, I last reacted to Super Junior. Uh, for any Super Junior fans that will watch this and or invested in my reactions, I'll give you a good life update since, <laughs> since, you know, why not? Uh, anyway, I'm really excited. Super Junior, it's been a while. Here with So this is Super Junior with House Party. Here we go.
Oh my god, bro. That that's my boys. That's my boys. Holy shit. Part of my language, but oh my god. I want to cry. Um Hold on, I'm just checking to see when they debuted. 2005. 2005, 2001, 16 years. Okay. Damn, 16 years? Holy. I've been with them for 12 years. Since I was, I'm 25 now. Since I was, since I was like 12 or 13. Um, and like, to watch these guys become the group that they are, I'm happy. Like, you know, this these guys are definitely a definitive moment in my, in my teenage years for sure. Um, and you know, it's wild to me just to see them, you know, they're still going. Like I said, holy shit, 16 years, like 16 years now. Um, they're almost 20 years. Um, but man, man, Super Junior. Bro, they're always killing the game, always trying something new. First of all, this song was like funky, I was like grooving, and then we get Hicho and C1, like Hicho and the car and everything, and all black, that all black. Fucking, sorry, <laughs> my language, I'm so excited. Uh, like this, and then it, like the beat drops, like bro, you're gonna go that hard? And then it goes back to funky, like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> um, Super Junior just be trying all the stops. What I like about this song too, it's like, it literally talks about like the pandemic. It's just like, you know, keep your mask up, no mess up, please. You know, um, the maybe we're paying for the days of freedom and whatnot. So it definitely alludes to lots to the pandemic. And it's like, it's very timely, this song, I love it. Um, but bro, this song just went off and I love it. I This is super junior, you know, they're always trying crazy shit. And I'm part, I'm so sorry for, you know, Kirsten, but like, you know, these are my boys. Like I, this got me so excited. Like I haven't, like I said, I haven't reacted to them in three years. Um, like my last legitimate reaction was three years ago. Um, and this, like I said, it was back. I believe back when I was in America. Um, let me check. Because my life has changed so much since those last three years since I last reacted to Super Junior. Super Junior, Super Junior, Super Junior. Super Junior. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, it was probably, yeah, it looks like it was a couple of weeks before I left for Korea. So 2018, November, no, I, I, I released it, I recorded it when I was in America, but it was released when I was in Korea. So basically, last three years, um, basically, of what what has been going on um, since I last drafted to Super Junior. Uh, I'm in Korea. <laughs> I'm in Korea. Uh, I've been working as a uh, English teacher in Korea for over two years now except in from May 2020 to December 2020 I went back to America due to circumstances at my previous job um, in Korea I went back home um, and then I just came back back in December so I've been in Korea almost consecutively two years um, so that's where I'm at now I'm in, currently in Korea you know enjoying life working hard doing my thing um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty much the only change that happened in uh in uh since twenty eighteen. This is the last time I reacted to them. But yes, yeah, super junior. What I love, the cake. Can we talk about the cake? It's an everlasting friend. If you don't know that, if for some reason you're not a super junior friend, you're watching this because you like my reactions and whatnot, um everlasting friend is like their their fandom name, uh elf. Um so I, I thought that was a sweet nod. To the elf fandom you know this is their 10th album i believe right 10th album bro it's nuts like i said i've been with them since i was like 12 and it's been like 13 years now um i'm 25 now so you know i pretty much grew up listening to super junior watching them go from 2009 to, to now it's just, it's been a wild wild ride um but yeah super junior that that middle section did not need to go off that hard like bro are you kidding me and then it it's just like it goes down it's just like the very like i guess you can say kind of modern kind of style and then it goes back to the funky kind of groovy kind of song that they're going after and i'm like bro super junior what y'all doing uh, but i do definitely need to check out super clap that came out last year or two years ago i'm not sure when that came out um, but yeah, man, it's so good to see them back. It's so funny to see them back. It's it's fun to see what they will try in next and hopefully we get to see more of them, you know, since since they're way past, you know, they're all done with their military service since a long time ago. Um, so I'm very excited to see Super Junior. So 
yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did like subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye